lines A and B are perpendicular and have the same x-intercept. The equation of line A is this. Determine the y-intercept of line B. We just have to work through this step by step. We have this equation. I'm going to rewrite it in a simple slope-intercept format, so we, which we can visualize. We have 2y. I'm just rearranging the algebra. I'm going to move the x over. It becomes a negative x. I'm going to move the four, negative 4 over. It becomes a positive 4. Divide everything by 2. We get x equals 1 half x plus 2. So this here is the equation of line A. A. Now it says here that A and B are perpendicular. Perpendicular. So the slope here for line A, the slope is negative 1 half. Perpendicular means that the slope of B, of B, the slope of M2 is going to be the negative reciprocal. So the sign is going to flip, the negative becomes a positive, and the reciprocal means the numerator and the denominator switch. So we get 2 over 1, which is the same thing as 2. So we have the slope of line B. Now we also have the same x-intercept. x-intercept can be solved by setting y to 0, the opposite variable to 0. So let's solve the x-intercept of, of line A. We set y to 0, so 0 equals 1 half x plus 2. I'm going to move the, this uh, negative 1 half x to the left side. It becomes a 1 half x equals 2. I'm going to multiply both sides by 2, so x equals 4. So when x is 4, y is 0. This here is the x-intercept. So we have a point. So for line B, we have a slope and a point. This means that we can find the line equation of line B. We have the standard y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. This here is the uh, nice uh, slope uh, point formula, good to memorize. We have y minus y1. So this is the point. We have x1, y1, the y1 value is 0 equals m. So I want to find the equation of this line, not this one here. So I'm focusing on this slope, which happens to be 2. x minus x1, the x1 point is 4. So we can find the line equation by using some basic algebra. y equals 2x. I'm just going to distribute here. And this is going to be 2 times negative 4 is minus 8. This here is the slope. This here is the y-intercept. The question is, find the y-intercept of line b which happens to be this negative 8 value. So the answer here is A.